Hi everyone, and welcome back to your daily dose of mass math dealing video contents together with your mathematics teacher, Sir Vince. And for today, we will be continuing our discussion about solving quadratic equations by using the completing the square method part 2. So para sa mga bago pa lang subscribers, ililink ko sa baba yung link ng part 1 para makasunod ka at hindi ka maligaw sa ating solutions mamaya. Dahil kung hindi mo napanood yung first part, most probably ay malilito ka sa mga gagawin sa mga susunod na examples. So, huwag natin patagalin pa. Simulan na natin ang ating part 2 discussion about completing the square. Ngayon, bago tayo mag-proceed sa mga examples, let's have a short review. Ano ba yung formula ulit para kunin yung C? Very good. That's B over 2A squared. Tandaan mo yun, dahil yun ay gagamitin natin mamaya. So, let's have our example number 1 for today. So, paano ba kapag ang given ay ganito na? So, let's solve for x squared plus 4x equal to 12. So, kung napapansin mo, last time, yung ating first part, expression lang siya. Wala siyang equal sign. But this time, we will deal with equation. Meron na siyang equal sign. So, same pa naman yung proseso. We will still find the C. Pero meron lang tayong mga idadagdag para makuha natin yung ating solution set. Okay? So, let's start solving this one. x squared plus 4x equals 12. Unang step, gagawin natin, we will allocate or we will insert a value for C. So, magalagay tayo ng space for C. So, ganito siya magiging x squared plus 4x plus the value of c equals 12 plus the value of c. Now, bakit kaya nag-add tayo both sides? Para ma-hold natin yung property of equality. Di ba tandaan? Para maging equal pa din sila, kailangan ko anong i-add mo sa left side, yun din i-add mo sa right side. Kasi kung hindi, hindi sila magiging balance hindi sila magiging equal. Lalamang yung isa. So, dapat laging balance eh. Kasi kapag nag-add ka lang sa left side, mag-iselo si right side, Alah, bakit wala akong in -add? Hindi na kami pantay. Hindi na kami equal. So, dapat, para ma-hold yung equality, you will add both sides. Now, paano ba kinukuha yung underline na yan? The value of C. So, you will use this formula yung last time, the b over 2a squared. Now, kaya mo na itong matamatahin. ba? Kahit wala yung formula lang yan, kaya mo yung matamatahin. O, let's start. Get the middle term. Ano yung middle term? That's 4. Now, 4 divided by 2. Ilan? That's 2. And then, multiply by itself. That's 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Very good. Therefore, you will add 4 both sides. So, will become x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 12x plus 4. Now, simplify mo lang yung right side. So, 12 plus 6, this will become 16. Ngayon, uh, for the left side, ang gagawin natin is to get its factored form. Kukunin natin yung factored form na tinuro ko na noong nakaraang video. So, this will become x plus 2 squared equals 16. So, kung nalilito, kung bakit naging ganyan, panoorin mo yung aking first video, yung part 1 about completing the square. Ngayon, paano na isolve yan? So, now we will use yung unang method, yung extracting square roots, para mawala yung squared, anong ganagawa natin? we will insert square root both sides. Now, meron makakancel. Mawawala yung squared. Anong may iwan? May iwan yung x plus 2 is equal to positive and negative 4. Now, saan ba galing yung plus minus 4? Diba, what is square root of 16? That's 4. 4 lang ba? No. Kasi hindi naman ang pinag-uusapan is absolute root. 
We are talking about the whole root. So, dapat meron kang plus and minus sign. So, we will be talking about that sa ating ibang video, yung extracting square roots. So, make sure to subscribe here para update ka sa mga aking uploaded videos. Okay? So, paano to next? Ang goal natin ay dapat walang kasama si X sa kanyang side. Hindi dapat yung goal, dapat yung X mo. Wala nang kasama, X na eh. Ay, so, ang gagawin, iiwan mo si X. Oh, iiwan dapat si X. So, pag iiwan si X, ililipat mo siya or transpose to other side. At pag transpose, you will change the sign. This will become X is equal to negative 2 plus minus 4. So, yung, pl yung plus 2, nilipat ko lang sa kabila, kaya naging negative 2. Now, you have now two equations. Meron ka ng plus, tas minus. So, ang gagawin, paghihiwalayin mo lang siya, just like this one. Your x sub 1 will become negative 2 minus 4, and your x sub 2 will become negative 2 plus 4. Pinaghiwalay ko lang. Yung isa negative, yung isa positive. Now, ano mangyayari? Solve or start from x sub 1. So, paano yan? So, x sub 1 is negative 2 minus 4. Ilan? That's negative 6. So, x sub 2. What's x sub 2? Negative 2 plus 4 is what? Negative 2 plus 4 is equal to 2. And, for our last step, ilagay mo lang siya bilang solution set. So, our final answer would be, our solution set is negative 6 and positive and this will be our final answer. I hope nakuha at nagets natin kung paano gamitin si computing the square in getting the roots of a quadratic equation, yung solution set. Okay? Sige, kopyahin, namnamin, at i-digest. Okay na? So let's have another example. Example number 2. So, we have this one. x squared minus 12x minus 13 is equal to 0. So, kung napapansin mo, siya ay naka-standard form pa. Magkakasama pa yung buong equation. So, to solve for this one, ang unang gagawin is to uh, eliminate or tanggalin muna yung constant doon sa side ng mga x. So, ilipat mo siya sa kabilang side. So, ang mangyayari ay ganito. x squared minus 12x equals 13. Nalipat ko lang yung negative 13 sa kabila. Okay? Ngayon. Anong gagawin? Anong next? Maglagay ng space for C. Okay? Anong next? O, matamatahin natin. Negative 12 or yung 12 divided by 2 that's 6. 6 times 6 that's 36. So, we will add 36 both sides. And now, simplify natin. Factor mo yung left side, tapos add mo yung right side. Factor, and then right, and then um, add. So, ang mangyayari is ganito. X minus 6 squared equals 49. Now, anong next step? Lalagyan ng square root, both sides. Tapos, nakakancel yung square root, tsaka yung square doon sa left side. So, ang may iwan ay x minus 6. What is the square root of 49? Yun yun, plus minus 7. Tapos, next step, ilipat si negative 6 or transpose it to the other side of the equation. So, will become x is equal to 6 plus minus 7. Are we done? Hindi pa. Paghihiwalayin mo pa, yung x. This will become x sub 1 equal 6 minus 7 and x sub 2 is equal to 6 plus 7. Tapos, just simply operate. For x sub 1, we have 6 minus 7, that's negative 1. And for x sub 2, 6 plus 7, that's 13. And last step is to get the solution set. Ikulong mo lang siya sa curly braces. This will become solution set of negative 1 comma 13. 
and meron ka ng solution set or the roots of the equation. Basic, kayang-kaya na? Ikaw pa ba? Kayang-kaya mo yan? So, let's have our last example. Example number 3. Let's try to solve for 2x squared minus 7x equals 9. Now, paano kaya kung ganyan na yung given? Mayroon ng numerical coefficient na katabi yung x squared. So, how to solve that kind of problem? So, ang unang goal natin, di ba kanapansin mo sa mga nakaraang problems, lahat ng given x squared. Or the value of a is always 1. So, para maging consistent yung ating solution, yun yung una mong gagawin. Dapat magawa mong yung a must be equal to 1. So, paano yung gagawin natin kapag ganun? So, the only way for that is to divide every term by the numerical coefficient of your leading term. I, again, i-divide mo yung lahat ng terms ng equation by the numerical coefficient ng iyong leading term. When we say leading term, siya yung may highest degree. Tama? So, for that kind of uh, discussion, ano ba yung leading term, ano ba ang coefficient, ano ang variable, kung hindi mo pa alam, uh, subscribe ka sa channel na to, then I will have a separate video for that. So, you will be updated sa mga next videos ko. Okay? So, again, divide muna natin lahat by the coefficient. O, ngayon, ano ba yung coefficient natin? We have 2. So, divide every term by 2. Ngayon, so, meron tayong mga cancel yung sa leading term. So, ano may iwan? This will become x squared minus 7 over 2x equals 9 over 2. Kung napapansin mo, hindi ko na siya simplify tulad ng mga nakaraan kasi hindi naman na siya magagawang whole number. Wala na siyang way for us na gawin tong whole number. So, ang gagawin is to proceed with the next step na may fraction. Ganyan talaga ang buhay. Medyo humihirap pag nasa dulo na. Pero kapag nakamit mo naman yung tagumpay, napakasaya kapag nakuha mo yung final answer. At masabi mo, ah, yun lang pala yun. Tama? Sige, let's proceed. So, let's find the value of C. Okay? So, ganyan. Let's allocate or insert a value for C. Now, so, review muna tayo, di ba? We will use this formula in getting the value for C. Ngayon, hindi mo na siya kayang matamatahin eh, nang ganun kadali. So, ngayon, let's try to solve it one by one muna. So, what's the value of A? 1. Value of B? Ayun, fraction na siya. Negative 7 over 2. Ngayon, let's try to substitute this one. So, this will become negative 7 over 2. Yun yung value of B over 2 times 1, which is the value of A. Let's start with the denominator, yung 2 times 1. Ilan? 2 times 1, that's equal to 2. Now, paano kapag ganyan? Paano kapag complex fraction? A fraction over a whole number. So... To solve for that kind of equation, ang gagawin natin, kung napansin mo, kinukuha lang naman yung kalahati eh. So, ang gagawin, yung denominator ng numerator, I repeat, yung denominator ng taas. So, di ba meron 2 sa taas? So, ibababa mo lang siya. So, I, again, yung 2 doon sa negative 7 over 2, ibababa mo lang kay 2 sa ilalim. Ganon yung ginagawa kapag ganyang klase ng uh, fraction, tas divide. So, this will become negative 7 over 4. Again, binaba mo lang yung 2. Naging 2 times 2. Kaya naging negative 7 over 4 squared. Now, uh, law of exponents. Just simply distribute the uh, squared. Both sa numerator and denominator, uh, now, what is negative 7 squared? That's 49. What is 4 squared? That's 16. Therefore, the value of C 
is 49 over 16. Okay? So now, meron tayong ganito. x squared minus 7 over 2x plus 49 over 16 equals 9 over 2 plus 49 over 16. Now, factor natin. Okay, paano mag-factor out ng ganyan? We have sa x minus 7 over 4 squared equals 121 over 16. Now, Sir Vin, saan nagmula yung 7 over 4? Kalahate, di ba? Paano kinukuha yung second term ng binomial? Kalahate ng middle term. So, di ba? Yung 7 over 2, kalahatiin mo, magiging 7 over 4. Yung tinuro ko, yung bababa, yung denominator, magiging 7 over 2 times 2, doon nagmula yung 7 over 4. Ngayon, saan nagmula yung 121 over 16? Nag-add tayo ng dissimilar fraction. Ayan yon. So, paano mag-add ng dissimilar fraction? Medyo complicated siya. Dapat, alam mo na yon nung ikaw ay grade 6 or grade 7. But, for those na nalilito pa rin sa dissimilar fractions, I will create another video for that. Meron akong alam na shortcut na I will share to you guys. So, make sure to subscribe here para makita mo yung video na yun. Okay? So, next step is to uh, insert a square root, both sides. May makakancel. Makakancel yung squared, tsaka yung square root. Ang may iwan ay x minus 7 over 4 sa left side. Ngayon, observe mo. Yung nasa right side, it is, di ba? Ang 121 at ang 16, meron siyang square root. This will become x minus 7 over 4 equals plus minus 11 over 4. Nakuha ba? Tapos, anong gagawin? Transpose sa kabila. Change the sign. 7 over 4 plus minus 11 over 4. So, ngayon, hindi na ito mahirap sa iyo. Kasi similar na yung fraction. They have the common denominators. Meron na siyang same na denominators. So, paghiwalayin mo lang, you have x sub 1 equals 7 over 4 minus 11 over 4 and x sub 2 na 7 over 4 plus 11 over 4. Let's start with x sub 1. Now, 7 over 4 minus 11 over 4. Ilan yun? O, kapag nag add tayo ng similar fractions, ito mas madali. Okay, just copy the denominator na parehas Tapos, operate on the numerator. I repeat, just copy the denominator, yung parehas, and then operate sa numerator. Now, what is 7 minus 11? That's negative 4 over 4. And simplify natin, what is 4 divided by 4? That's equal to negative 1. Diba? Mula dun sa fraction na napakahaba kanina, Negative 1 lang pala yung solution set. And for our x sub 2, we have 7 over 4 plus 11 over 4. Again, i-add lang natin. 7 plus 11, that's 18 over 4. And then, lowest term, kasi kaya pa siyang i-simplify, this will become 9 over 2. And that will be our solution set. Dahil wala naman na siya Kaya pa i-simplify. Therefore, our solution set for that particular uh, equation is negative 1 and 9 over 2. Okay? Nakuha ba? I hope na gets at ating nakuha kung paano mag-solve ng ganyang klase ng problem. Medyo mahirap. Medyo lang naman. Hindi siya sobrang hirap. Pero kayang-kaya mo. Matrabaho lang. Pero kayang-kaya mo. Okay? So, to try for yourself, try to answer this one. Solve for 3x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. Just comment your answers below, yung solution set, so that I can check kung nakuha mo yung proseso. So, thank you for watching this video and see you with our upcoming video tutorials. Thank you and goodbye and I love you all.